I am Mel. And I'm Glenda. I'd like to welcome you to our home this evening for 10 minutes of prayer and worship. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst. So let's just open in prayer together. Amen. Mighty Heavenly Father, thank you that as we gather together in our individual homes this evening, your presence is with us. We welcome your Holy Spirit. Would you open our hearts to receive your word? Guide us in everything we say and speak to us tonight by the power of your Holy Spirit, we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. If we're upside down, everyone, I'm really sorry, but I can't get this right tonight. I don't know what's going on. Um, but we felt that God's been speaking to us. And we feel that our word for you tonight is God is on the move. That's it. God is on the move. I'll just give you a quick test for me. Um, that our son over three weeks ago got baptised. Hey! <laughs> uh, but our daughter-in-law, future daughter-in-law, got baptised last night. And um, for those of you who, who, who are being waiting on the Lord, it says faith will rise when you wait upon the Lord. We have waited 33 years for our son to dedicate his life to Christ. And we've waited 10 years for our future daughter-in-law to dedicate her life to Christ. So praise be to God. We'd like to worship God. Yeah, so let's join together and worship God. Yeah, the Bible says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. So we enter into your presence, Lord. We come boldly to your throne through the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our King, our Lord and our Saviour. We declare that you are God and that by the shedding of your precious blood that um, cleanses and washes us from all our sin, we are made righteous. We are hidden in Christ and as a result, we are a new creation. The old has gone and the new is here. Praise your mighty name. So we worship you now in spirit and in truth. Thank you for our salvation. Thank you for the cross. And thank you for the sacrifice you made for each one of us. Lord, we don't deserve it. We don't deserve your grace and we don't deserve your forgiveness. But we are truly, truly thankful that you love us and that you made a way for us. Thank you for your word, which Amen. guides us and encourages us. Praise God that you say that there is no condemnation for us who are in Christ Jesus. The chains that have bound us you've broken off us on Calvary's cross so we can be free, no longer needing to conform to the ways of this world, Amen. but we can be transformed by the renewing of our minds as we read and meditate on your word daily. Thank you that you chose us even when we were in our mother's womb in that secret place. Then you revealed yourself to each of us, drawing us to you because you loved us and want us to have communion with you. Lord, would you help us to be confident witnesses, to tell others, to tell others what you've done for us and, and your, the will that you have for no one to perish. Lord God, would you open our eyes to the fields you have set before us as the harvest is ripe and let your glory shine through us, it, through us in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. God is on the move. Um, I just want to lift up in prayer our students that are returning to their universities, uh, some for the first time. And uh, I want to pray for their parents who are uh, living in fear for them and worried about them. But I pray that they become ambassadors um, uh, for Christ. I pray that all our frontline uh, church members uh, that are going back to university or starting university have a boldness. I had a picture earlier today um, of a dandelion that when I was a kid I used to pick up a dandelion and, and blow a dandelion and thousands of little parachute seeds went everywhere. Well, I pray that they rain down in their universities across this land. Uh, so Father God, we lift up our students to you tonight, Lord, and we lift them up and pray, Father God, 
that their fear of a new venture is broken off them, that an excitement to share your word fills them in their hearts and in their minds, Lord. Let them be ambassadors for you, Father God, as they break through. Let the uh, people that are going there for the first time uh, be with them, Lord, as they endeavour this new venture. Lord, um, just bless them with strength. And Lord, we're living in a chaotic time. Uh, but Father God, you are the order of chaos. And we just thank you, Lord. We also bring our children to you, Lord. Our children, I mean, our children are, are 30 odd now. But, you know, we still go through the same things that you're going through with your young children. Mm. Bless them, Father God, as they return to school. And, and you know, we're into a new normal of, of wearing face masks and social distancing. We pray, Father God, that they can adapt, mm. that you are the God of adaption, Lord, that you will give them uh, those opportunities uh, to not be fearful lord let the, let the parents who are being uh, who are worrying about them and and having anxiety break that off them father god because this time you know the harvest is ripe lord the harvest is ripe for all of us you know in this world of chaos i can't believe how amazing uh, the harvest is it's so ripe it's untrue so lord god uh, give us a boldness we've never had before and bless each one of us with your gospel on our lips mm. to share at any moment in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen amen, amen. i just want glenda uh, if we could just shut our eyes and put our hands out I want Glenda to read this over us tonight and remind us who we are in Christ. It's Isaiah 61, year of the Lord's favour. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom to the captives and release for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendour. Mm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. They are magnificent words from God. And we just thank you that we've had this opportunity. Sorry for the bit of confusion before, but our camera seems to be wayward. If we're upside down, welcome Australia. <laughs> uh, but that's fantastic. And we just bless you guys uh, for hearing our prayers tonight. Uh, go in peace. May the Lord bless all of you. Uh, and and Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise Thank God. You. Good night. Thank you. Good Enjoy night. Good night. Bye.